how satisfied are you with this first week, how it's gone for you personally? Hmm, that's a difficult question. I'm Julian Dean and I'm the uh, Head Sport Director at the uh, Vuelta España. Yeah, I, you know, I think one of the key things in our sport is, you know, obviously the, the Tour de France is, sits at the, really the, the top end of all the races that we do. The Giro under that and the Vuelta España sort of probably under that. So the priorities for the, the team are often quite different around those events. We never probably come to the Vuelta España with our stacked or our best team, um, but they're all guys that always come here. Of, uh, uh, you know, they come here because they really want to be here. They got good motivation, and they come here with a with a, a big desire. Looking at the riders that, were, that have been going well, uh, what key performance indicators that we're going to need, whether it's sort of rider development or, or, or targeting specific stages around here, and our selection criteria is sort of uh, built around that. I love racing, I missed so much racing the last few years and just happy to be back racing and putting a number on. We'll uh, analyse how today went and um, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully try and recover in time for tomorrow. <laughs> One of our objectives coming here uh, was obviously to is, is to support Michael Matthews and uh, try and get some stage wins for here um, with him. Matthews is there, so is Luca Mendes. Luca Mendes fires in now and Matthews gets ready to go off between Jakobsen and Philipsen. Yeah, this week has been uh, a bit of a roller coaster. Started off quite good at the the first two stages with uh, with the time trial, my first top ten in the time trial this year. Day day one, first road race was uh, we were top three in the first sprint, which was quite good. I was I was pretty happy with that. Then a couple of the other stages were quite flat and didn't suit me as well as the as as I would have liked. Demar is there. Matthews is also there as they make their way round this next turn. Who's going to take it? Here comes Jakobsen on the line. To be, if we're completely honest, there wasn't a whole lot of opportunity for the first week. Michael's, uh, you know, certainly a, a fast sprinter in the pure flat fast sprints, um, but he's not of the calibre of some of the real pure guys. <laughs> I must say I'm struggling a little bit, but um, hopefully I can start adapt adapting to the heat in the next days, otherwise it doesn't look good. You go through roller coasters where you, you have motivation and you sort of lose it a little bit. The way I'm feeling at the moment is not uh, the sensations that I wanted coming into the world. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, we'll discuss with the team what we do next. One of the big challenges is these, these events are three weeks long, Tour de France, the Giro and, and Tour of Spain. Um, so it, it's always inevitable that over a three week period you sort of have Sort of these peaks and troughs and, and good days and bad days and I think the amount of work that I put in outside of being at races it definitely helps me to to be able to keep focused and I'm a bit angry in the bus and frustrated but with cycling it's you're never winning every single race you start so you need to be able to give everything on the day and then um, if it doesn't work out obviously assess what you did wrong if if you did something wrong if you were just not good enough on the day or whatever and then try and um, use that for for the next stage that extra motivation bike exchange putting their whole team on the front to close the gap they clearly fancied michael matthews chances in the final um, we knew that day that we really had to um, take every opportunity we could to try and uh, bring that race back together. Oh, another crash and bike exchange. One of their riders hit the deck, two of their riders have hit the deck. Look at Michael Matthews go, trying to repay what bike exchange did earlier on. Magnus Court is 330 metres now from the line. He looks around, Magnus Court wins the stage. That stage that, that Michael rode and, and the way he rode on that last climb was really dominant and um, you know things just didn't quite go uh, our way on that particular stage. One of the key things in sport or cycling in general really is, uh, is an athlete's confidence. You know the question often kind of gets asked well why aren't we working for, for Luca in these stages or when is Luca going to get his opportunity but you know Luca's a, a fantastic lead out guy, he's a, he's a great teammate and he understands as well that the importance of, of creating that environment, having those few sprints together and giving the Michael the confidence that all the team 
uh, is behind him. I think it's been the sort of story of my year this year. I've been fighting for victories a lot, um, but haven't had one yet. Um, I've been around the top three and top five basically in every single race that I had targeted. Getting towards the end of the season, it's definitely getting frustrating to be so close all the time, but not being able to put my arms in the air and, and celebrate a, a victory. <laughs> My role in the team is generally to uh, help out the leaders and every now and then go looking for an opportunity myself. I don't particularly like to call myself a climber. As bike riders, particularly in modern day cycling, you have to be reasonably good at everything. It's always good to have a carrot from looking through the road book and, and trying to select a day. One last ditch effort. You could tell it was going to go. Not very often you get in a position, fight for a stage in a Grand Tour. I'm happy, but it's also a, a missed opportunity. Obviously, you've got to have the legs to back it up and get in one of those breakaways, which for me this week hasn't proved easy. Who's gonna take him? It's Magnus Court! Yeah, I thought on the first climb, I already told the team that I wasn't gonna contest the stage today. Yeah, when you've got a team like this around you that supports you through the highs and lows of, uh, of a Grand Tour, then you, uh, you also give it your all to try and finish it off. You know, there's two things in sport that you've got to really focus on. We always uh, tend to get focused on results. You know, results are what sponsors want. Uh, that's what we try to deliver. Uh, there's also the process, you know, you've got to try and look at those positives and, and try and keep the team together and, and the morale high and, and keep going through that process until the result comes. For sure we can feel pressure as a team because as riders we really want to perform well um, and we want to win. Not winning gets to us for sure and particularly this race we've done some brilliant team performances um, where we've really animated the race, we've taken it on, we've put everything on the line and we've just fell a bit short. Who's going to win this stage? This is so messy. It's going to be a photograph right on the finish line. Well yeah, when it comes to the sprints I really like my job as a lead out. Uh, I don't want to sprint so much uh, unless I need to if Michael is not there. I was always uh, wanting to do the lead outs, I'm uh, good at reading bunch. Yeah, I just like to deliver my sprinter to the good will. I think the quick step team did it geniusly. In a lot of uh, big gaps which you need to somehow close them down if you're too far back. That's it. It's pretty good at debrief. At the top of Peak of Lercas, the race winner is Roman Bardet. Definitely, um, there's, it becomes a more of a sense of desperation where um, we're at the end of the second week now and we've tried uh, on many occasions to um, give ourselves the best opportunity to, to, to win. Um, we've had various guys uh, in move. But then that win is just just not there, just not coming. Every time you come up short, the, you know, the pressure sort of starts to cook a little bit and um, desperation sort of becomes into it. We're just hoping to, to rectify that situation and get some wins on the board because you know, we're professionals, it's the highest level and, and we want to do better all the time. Week three, how's it gone? Seems like I've been saying this about the whole three weeks, but the work's going in, but the results aren't coming. So it's been it's been a tough week and tempers are a bit afraid. People are a bit stressed and, and, and finding it quite hard, to be fair. We're, not, we're gonna go all in to pull a result today like we've been doing every day. You know, there's no doubt about it. It's been a tough couple of first weeks, but you guys have been throwing everything at it. Um, we can do it, I believe we can do it, and, but the pressure's gonna be on. We're gonna keep the pressure on, and we're gonna just keep fighting until we, uh, until we make this happen. The Peloton making their way around this left-hand turn, almost another touch of wheels over the speed ramp, and they're looking round to get ready. Jakobsen in prime position. This is this tight left-hander, 
There's a little bit of Demars in trouble on the right-hand side. And now there's an attack again as riders go clear. It's very, very messy in here. And Jakobsen gets ready. On the wheel of Jakobsen is Trenty. Here it's Michael Matthews. It's Jakobsen in the middle. Jakobsen going. Light the candles. He wins on his birthday. I look down, I saw specialized shoes, then I look back to her second width and I said, man, surely he will go into the corners and then even if you just hesitate a bit, they will start from behind. Lots of hard work, I think, which uh, the whole team put in um, to try and nab that stage win. We, we fought every single day for it, whether it was for the breakaway or for, for a sprint for me. I mean, we're not far off, but we're just not quite there. We're not quite got that last percentage that we need to be able to win at this at this level. It's it's very competitive level. You have to have everything correct and everything in place. And you know, although we were working hard, we're just missing that little bit. He has done everything right. Primoz Roglic wins the stage. I think one would definitely say that you know there's been a lot less breakaways that have gone to the line and succeeded in this year's Vuelta. You know the nature of the racing, uh, and, you know over the last year, 18 months has, has really changed, and maybe in the way that we're thinking about things, we haven't quite adapted um, to you know the way the racing has gone the last uh, year or, or year and a half really. Um, so maybe there's some stuff we've got to look at there and, and try and make small tweaks and small improvements, put us back in the game. Everybody else had at least one man in the breakaway, and among them were three stage winners at this Vuelta. The 2015 winner Fabio Aru was also in there, along with Gorka Izaguirre, Damian Housen, Han van Halke, Gianluca Brambilla and Mari van Sevenens. I don't think there's anything I would have done differently in terms of the uh, the race itself. Maybe on a personal level, when I crashed out of the Giro, I had surgery on my hand, and I think I underestimated that process a little bit. I had time off the bike because I had to, but what I've kind of realised is I didn't mentally get a rest at all. That kind of influences things mentally a little bit when you're three weeks deep in a race. Yeah, I think it's just something that maybe I could have could have managed a little bit differently to to perform better um, and more consistently here for the very first time, out of the mist, out of the murk, a superman arrives, Lopez wins the stage. I'm not being overly prescriptive in this plan today, but I think we need to be open-minded, but not being prescriptive doesn't mean that there's no um, assertion on our approach to today's stage. It's got good race sense, so just stay true to that. Often just do what feels right when you're out there. Yeah. Right. You can make mistakes um, in the moment. Um, you, well, especially me, I always look back at things that that I could have done better and try and uh, make sure I don't make the same mistakes uh, the next time. The riders were really tearing along at high speed. A fascinating pursuit unfolding here. Team DSM still riding hard for Dianese. The bike exchange now helping out as well for Michael Matthews. Even after two punishing days in the mountains, nobody was taking it easy. To hit the final 15k. DSM and bike exchange still hammering away. The battle putting in some big turns. It feels really demoralizing when uh, you're giving absolutely everything you can. You know you're up against it and you know it's going to be a difficult task. And when you can't quite get there, it's, it's actually just shattering. I rolled in those last five kilometers just hoping to hear some good news on the radio, but kind of knowing that I was never going to hear that news. It's a hat trick of wins. As a collective, we put in so much work. You know, it kind of feels like you deserve uh, something in return, but that's the brutality of, of the sport sometimes. If I, if I look at the list or, the, or the, the goals and expectations I set out, we certainly haven't got uh, near what we were hoping to achieve out of this welter. I've learned a lot myself this welter, I've learned a lot about my teammates. Definitely there's work to do, there's things to analyse and 
you know, although it's a tough time for the period, it's also quite an exciting time because you know you're not going to be in this period forever and you just got to battle your way out, fight your way out, just trying to keep on making those small steps and improvement. It's always nice to take a big break, reset, refresh and, and start again and set new goals. And you know, sometimes uh, after a bad year, you have re refound motivation and you have uh, something extra to give to, to gain results the year after. The, 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 the form is there, but some, something is just missing at the moment. Uh, we'll get there, we'll, we'll continue fighting and we'll get there.